In the event of an error occurring, this will be displayed in one of two areas. Let's go through them together. The first is on the terminal PCB on the heat pump and on the controller. The controller on-off switch LED will flash red if there is an issue, along with displaying both a warning icon on the LCD display and a two-digit error code. A full list of fault codes can be found in the relevant section of the installation instructions. Once the fault has been rectified, the error code must be reset. This can be done in one of three ways, depending on the error code concerned. Method one, by automatic reset. This happens when the heat pump returns to normal operation. Method two, power off, by turning the electrical supply to the heat pump off and back on again at the external isolator. Or method three, manual reset, by either pressing the plus and minus on the controller or pressing the reset SW switch red button on the terminal PCB. Another useful function is an error history display which can show the previous 10 error codes. This information is not available on the remote controller. It can only be viewed on the terminal PCB on the unit and is given numerically showing the latest error code first. If there is no history of an error, the display will show two dashes. To gain access to this information, press and hold the black pump switch and red reset switch. They can be found directly above the eight dip switches on the terminal PCB. This information is particularly useful for diagnostics and pinpointing recurrent issues.